Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. We are going to talk about another statistics problem. Today, we are going to discuss Wilcoxon rank sum test for two independent samples. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. Okay, so this is Wilcoxon's rank sum test for comparing two independent samples. Problem for the following random samples from two populations use the 0 0.05 level of significance in testing null hypothesis is M1 equal to M2. Median of sample one or median of population one equal to median of population two against alternate M1 not equal to M2. Again, remember M stands for median, median of population one equal to median of population two against the alternate, the medians are not equal. So this is a two tail test, alpha is 0 0.05. So this is a rank sum test. So this is equivalent of the two sample T test in parametric test. Remember, this is a non-parametric test. So we have the sample, we listed sample one and sample two separately, and then we taken together, we ranked them. So for example, between both the samples, 41.8 is the lowest in value and its rank is one, okay? And let's see, uh, then 43.6 in sample one is the second lowest, its rank is two, okay? Then 45.5 is the third lowest and its rank is three. And however, next one, 46.4 is in sample two and its rank is number four. Next one is 46.8 in sample one and the rank is five. So we are ranking the two samples together, okay? And then we find the sum of the two ranks for sample one and for sample two. For sample one, the sum of the ranks is 55. For sample two, the sum of the ranks is 116. In uh, Wilcoxon test, we always take the lowest sum as the test statistic. So the test statistic W for Wilcoxon rank sum test is sigma R1 is 55, okay? Now, this is two independent samples. So we have to refer to the table, which I will look up at the end of the Presentation N1 means sample size one is eight and N2 sample size two is 10. Alpha is 0 0.05, it's a two tail test. And the lower and critical values are, the lower and upper critical values for alpha equal to 0 0.05 for N1 equal to eight and N2 equal to 10 are 54 and 98. Now our test statistic W is 55, falls between the two critical values. 54 and 98. So the decision is do not reject 80 at alpha equal to 0 0.05. That means at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is not enough evidence to support the alternate that M1 not equal to M2. Now, what is the table I'm referring to? This is the table. So on the top row, you have N1 values, okay? And on the first column, in the top table, 8.3, you have the N2 value. So N1 values is in the first top row, horizontal row. N2 values are in the first column, vertical, okay? So in our case, N1 is eight and N2 is 10, okay? N1 is eight and N2 is 10. So you look for N1 eight in the first row, focus on that particular column, okay? And then N2 is 10, which is the bottom row in the first table. So we draw a horizontal line through 10 and a vertical line through uh, eight. And notice the top of the table, alpha is 0 0.05, two tail, we are doing a two tail test. So our critical values are 54 and 98, right over here, 54 and 98. That's what I have written. The two critical values are 54 and 98. Our test statistic is in between 54 and 98. Therefore, decision is do not reject HC. If you have any question, please send me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with new problems solved with TI-84 statistics problems. Again, 
Thanks for watching. Take care and have a nice day. See you next time.